Hi, on a discussion right here. Before the flame war begins, uh, I'm sure you've read the title already, but uh, before you start yelling at me about how stupid I am, let me be clear, I'm not saying I know any of this for certain. It's just a strange idea I had, and that idea is, could it possibly be that Thunderfoot is not actually a scientist? At least a professional scientist with published papers and a teaching career and, and all of that stuff. Um, now, if you are pro Thunderfoot, you are most likely um, pro evolution, and you're probably also pro atheist, which means you should have a very large respect for evidence, logic, reason, all of these things. So, my question to you, my audience, my subscribers, and I mean this earnestly because I could very well be in the wrong here, and I want you to inform me if I am, but is there actually any evidence that shows Thunderfoot is not just a lay person with an interest in science? As far as I know, he is he remains anonymous. I've never heard him ever be referred to by a first name, let alone a last name. Um, I we he hasn't mentioned. As far as I know, this is the big one. He hasn't shown any of his published papers on YouTube. If he did, I'm pretty sure he'd be able to find him very easily. I find it hard to believe that someone as popular as he would as he is, wouldn't have one of his students that, in one of his classes, point him out to YouTube. Uh, even even if you're not supposed to do that, I'm surprised that no one, um, that it's not just common knowledge at this point, given how popular he is. If we really wanted to find uh, TJ, given all the stuff he does, we probably could, and yet we really, he, Thunderfoot has been very good with concealing his identity. So, I, I, I'll admit, it is very possible that he is a professional scientist and all of this stuff, and I'm just, and, and he just is anonymous, and that's why it's hard to find all of this stuff. But um, there's also the fact that all of the studies that he's done, or I'm sorry, all of the tests that he's done on, on his channel, all the scientific cool stuff with like the blowing up of hydrogen, these were all lay experiments. These are all, the, the, none of this requires a science degree to perform or understand. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you looked it up, you'd be able to come up with even more spectacular ones if you had enough resources. Um, and there's also that study he did, that religious survey, um, in which he went to a a uh, random town and surveyed only, a, I think, at, at most only a few hundred people and then published those on YouTube. What's striking about that is that that's really not a good sur way to do a survey. You don't go to one town and only pick a handful of, of, of people to do that. If he actually is, uh, has connections to a, a campus, uh, he should have been able to have a much larger sample size because there's all types of researchers there that would have access to many different people. Um, and it's just the fact that he did that and thought that this was, you know, a study worth, uh, wor worth its weight <laughs> when it really wasn't. So, look, if I'm wrong here, uh, if he actually has pointed to some of the uh, actually, uh, you know, critically... Um, peer-reviewed papers that he's published. If, if that information is out there, please let me know. Uh, flame on me if you want. I'm just asking a question because really, as far as I know, there's no evidence that says, yes, we know this man is a professional uh, scientist. Uh, to me, we, all we have is his word and a couple of videos that really, if anyone had enough time they really and put in enough research, they could have done without a degree. So let, let me know, maybe if I'm missing something. Um, yeah, that's about it. Have a nice day. I'm Discussioner, out.